Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Uh, so then I want to go to there and I'm going to put 50 coal into there. Right, and this is going to start producing stone bricks. Four, it goes down to two. So every two stone, it makes a stone brick. Yeah, we're starting to make these stone bricks. You can make footpath with these, right? I can actually make footpath with this, and it allows you to run faster, okay? Even just that, and it does look quite cool, right? I like the look of being able to make that. But I'm not doing this for that at the moment. No, I'm doing it for another reason. I'm doing it to be able to make that one right there. I need 10 stone bricks for that. We'll go back to making a bit of footpath in a bit. We'll let this one finish processing. And there we go. Right, so now I've got 10 stone bricks. So then I can go into there. Six steel plates and 10 stone bricks allows me to make my first ever upgraded furnace right there. Steel furnace takes exactly the same footprint as that one, but it goes faster. And when I say faster, I mean a lot faster. It's also about the same on the fuel thing. So you end up being able to do more. You get more for your fuel essentially. Right, if I take that over there, and then I take these stone bricks, and this is, I, I, I love the pattern as well, right? I think this is a very cool pattern, and you can, you can put it out like this, so that's how fast we go there, and you can see it's instant upgrade, like, it's, it's really good, so if you can spread that stuff around your whole base, it's absolutely wonderful, it really is, it's a thing of beauty, it's like poetry in motion, We'll wait until we've got two more of these. And engines there, that is almost done now. There we go. I got 21 of them. I will, I'll leave one behind. Like that, so that I can make two of those. Now I'm going to bring them down this way. So, we're looking up this way. We're already using up some of the materials on here. But so far, we haven't excessively used up anything on here. Except for... The iron gear wheels. The iron gear wheels are going to start coming into short supply very soon. We've got absolutely no spare iron coming through whatsoever anymore. That has now reached its limit. Uh, which means that we're fast eating into our buffer over here. Which is why I built the buffer there in the first place. Right? That's why I make those buffers. Uh, this iron down here. That's just going to keep going. I want to keep that iron just get I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm not going to speed that up. I'm not going to change it. I don't want to do anything with it. What I will do, though, is I'm going to take those stone furnaces. I'm going to swap them over with that. I'm going to take you, and the stone furnace is going to go in there. Right, so now, where do we go? I think we'll just start up the top here, and we'll change those two over like that. Right. The slow inserters are keeping up with them. So I don't need to change anything over with the slow inserters. But we're going to reach the point where we are starting. We're going to be using up more ore than anything else. So I'm, I'm, I will get some more of those. We get some more of them running. But before we do that, we've got... That is now done. Which is fantastic. So fluid handling. Another 250 of each of these packs at 15 seconds apiece means that it's going to suck through those as fast as it is right now. It's going to take a little while before it even considers backing up and building us up a bit of a reserve. But right now, that's absolutely fine. So another 250 of those. And I, remember, I have got this on marathon settings and I've really, really increased the amount of everything that I use in here. Uh, just because I'm that ludicrously insane, and this is what I actually like to do to myself. I, I enjoy making it this much more difficult. Um, just because. Because why not? Right, 88, 89. So I can make nine of these now, which I'm going to do. I'll make all nine of those, and then we'll bring them over, and we'll bring them down here. I've got this on the ground. I can't pick that up. I got no way of picking that up off the ground. You can build over it. You can put that over resources. You can put mining nodes onto it. You can do everything with it. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. The only way you can actually gather it up off the floor, though, is to use a 
deconstruction planner and your construction robots. You can't pick it up yourself. So be careful in the early parts of the game if you decide to go and place down a load of the footpath. Um, just, just be careful that you don't regret it a little bit later. Let's pick up a few more of those, like that. I don't think I need any more than that. Right, nine. Going to just start, actually. I'm going to put one of those there, so that I've got a faster one working on that bit. And then these four I'm going to put over there, like that. So they come through. Actually, that's all feeding into steel, isn't it? So I don't technically need those feeding in at all. It's now dependent. I suppose steel is going to be quite a crucial thing. Hmm. Right, well, let's, let's replace these four down through here for a minute. I've replaced four of them over there, which probably aren't really going to be used anymore. Unless I, I could put another buffer in here. I could turn that into a buffer zone right there. I could actually use that as a buffer and I could um, put that up there. That might be a more sensible solution to this. All right, try and just maneuver this around a little bit. Duck it in underneath a bit and put some more over there. Because, my goodness me, that is busy sucking out all of that. Because we're using up all of the iron at the moment in gear wheel production. Gear wheel production is going to be like the big thing. Um, but, it's not, it's not backing up too badly, and already we're nearly halfway through the fluid handling, which is, that's actually a really, really good thing. I'm quite impressed by just how well we are coping with everything in here. It's, like it, it, it's still running okay. It is actually still running through all right. Uh, down here, this is slowing down, and... You sort of, you get to the point on this, oh, oh, did you see that? Electricity. We're reaching maximum capacity now. We've reached, well, we have reached, we've reached maximum capacity. That mean, and I've also now reached max, I've, I've run, I've used up all of the timber. That's all gone out on here. That will have all gone down through. That's all burned up. Every single bit of timber except for one little bit right down over the end. But the main important thing here is that I've reached max capacity. So I want two more boilers and then one, two, three, four steam engines like that. And if I do another four of those, one, two, three, four like that. And then I make two more boilers here as well. One, two. That's going to double the amount that I've got down here. And that's what we're going to need to do. That's going to be our next little project. And we're able to do that. You're able to have, I think, uh, I think it's 40 boilers and 80 steam engines on one extra, on one line down here. Right? You can have 40 steam engines, uh, 40 boilers, 80 steam engines on one pump. On one water line. Just one water line um, down there. And that's all you need to do. So in order to be able to run this properly. So I'll remove that one there. Now this doesn't really matter. I've just, I've, what I've just done there by removing that one. Is I've switched off the entire base. And I'm going to show you that. Right. If I zoom in here you can see everything is just switched off. You don't really want to do that if you can help it. So we'll switch everything back on again. And then I will take the boilers and I'm going to put that one up close together like that. And then I'm going to leave a gap of one in between that one over that side. I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of one and I'm going to put the other one down. And then I'm going to take a pipe and I'm going to drop that one in there. And I'm going to drop that pipe in there like that. So we've now got those up and through. I then take a fast inserter there, a fast inserter there, one there, and one there as well. I move this up like that to that point. I take that and I put it up through. I take some lights. I'm going to put one there. I can't get. Remember, I can't actually get through all of those pipes and stuff. It's not physically possible for me to do that. I'm going to put a light there. 
I'm going to put a light down here next to our radar and our water pump. I'll come back up this way. I'll put a light there. I'll put a light there. And I'll put a light there. Then we come in through here and I put the first four of these in. One, two, three, and four, like that. And you can see we've got no power on any of these. So I need to drop that. I need to put the power line in. And I put the power line in equal with all the ones underneath just because it looks tidier that way. So I put that one there. And then I put that one there because that's perfectly in line. And then I got that one out there. So I don't need to put one here, but I'm going to put it there anyway just so that it's in line. And then I go up here. And I put the other four in like that. See? Now when I look at this, their satisfaction and that is all the way down there. Now slowly we'll fill up as we get more and more mining drills and we get more fast inserters, more fast factories, labs, everything else. But that research is now finished, the fluid handling, and we move straight on to the oil processing. That is the next one. We need 500, but they're 30 seconds apiece instead of just 15 seconds apiece. Because it's that much slower doing the research, this will mean that we should have things start to back up a little bit. Right? All the labs will fill up. It will take a minute. But it's already they're starting to fill up. Because they take that much longer, we've already got the lines starting to back up a little bit. And yeah, I did have a slight gap in between waiting to start up again. But this, this does happen. All right, it, it will back up, and you can see it's sort of got to the... Oh, actually, is it going to back up or not? I'm kind of wondering at the moment whether it's going to back up or not. I think it is. Right, it's gone past that corner, and it's... Yeah, it's... Right, it's definitely backing up. We're only just producing faster... We're, 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 the, the green science is producing faster than the labs are consuming them by the tiniest, tiniest fraction. So it will eventually back up to here, but it's probably not going to back up much further than that because that one there will continually just feed in. It's probably the speed of that one factory, not even that, that it's doing it. But it will back up to that point, uh, which means that most of the rest of the factory is not really going to be affected. We're still going to be consuming these at pretty much the same speed that we are right now. We're going to be consuming all of these gear wheels at pretty much the same speed we are right now, which is a bit of a shame because it means that our buffer over here, and it's that buffer that's keeping us running at the moment. We need to do something about that. We need to change things around a little bit so that that buffer is not quite so important and we can start refilling it. The main issues we've got are the ores are not coming through fast enough. Right? I'm, I've... The ore is completely filled up, right? It's 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 backed up there. It's it's nose to tail on this bit, but now that we've got these faster um, faster furnaces consuming this ore, it's literally it's it's not backing up anywhere. I've got nowhere at all now that I've got a buffer that is um, backing up because I can't squeeze it onto the belt fast enough, right? That's going to be my issue. That being said, it's not necessarily a really terrible thing. Um, just because of the amount of other stuff that we've got on here. I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if I should try to put in some more mining drills somewhere. I've got a mining drill there that is nearly run out. That's only got 1,000. That's got 12, 16... 37. See, those those are absolutely... All the others are absolutely fine. They're not going to run out. Not anytime soon. That one will, though. It's only got a 1,000 pieces left. And the rate that we're now using iron up, we are going to use that pretty soon. So all we can do at the moment is we can do a manual feed. So what I do is control click on that and empty that out completely. And then I run down here and I go over to my buffer that I've got on here and control click and I fill that one back up again. That's my buffer. I'm manually topping up my buffer just so that I can keep everything running. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. The whole I know the whole idea of Factorio is to try to um, is, is to try to automate as much as you possibly can. 
but there is no shame in manually topping up a buffer every now and then just to make sure that everything keeps running and is doing what it should. Right, this one right here, this is starting to fill up a little bit, but we, we're kind of using that buffer there a little bit, but we're not using it enough that we need to worry about it at all. I do have a manual buffer there that I can add into it should I want to, but at the moment I don't want to at all. So everything is ticking along very, very nicely. And to that end, oh, hang on. Right, that's the other thing. It's now night time. And because we've now switched over to night time, we've got the lights come on as well. We can just double check that we are indeed producing enough. And we are. We're definitely producing enough there. The other check that we just want to make sure of now is that we are producing enough coal. And yes, this one is moving a lot faster. It's moving over time at the moment to be able to throw everything down. But it's still chucking everything out onto the belt exactly where it should without any problems at all so we're producing the coal these up here are producing just enough coal to keep everything topped up and running as they should there's no issues all the way through this entire factory right now there are no issues this is all running exactly as it should so I'm wondering if we ought to think about doing a little bit of upgrading. So I'm going to look over to here. I've got 40. I'm going to put in a little bit more of that. And I'm going to come over here. See the coal? It uses it so much more efficiently. All right? It's so, so much more efficient. And I've already gone in and I've got a couple of those. So I could do that and I could make another 20 furnaces. I'm not going to make 20 furnaces because I don't have 20 to replace at the moment. I would consider replacing these, but I don't want to because I'm already using up I'm I'm using up enough iron to in the production of steel at the moment as it is. I don't want to change that over. And I'm using everything else up as well. Now, because these furnaces are so efficient, I mean, yeah, when you're running flat out on producing this stuff, yeah, it does go through reasonably quick, but they're still they're, they're highly efficient. So what we could do is we could consider rearranging all of this and having a double belt of iron ore. If we've got two belts of iron ore coming in, that's obviously it's going to make a big difference, isn't it? If you've got two belts of iron ore, not two belts, if you've got a, like a, a belt coming in of iron ore that has got two lines of iron ore, I'll be able to feed a lot more of these, which means I'll be able to produce a lot more iron. And that is kind of the next upgrade that we want to be looking at. I've actually producing two factories worth. Too much on there. It's not that it's too much, it's just that that's spare. And you can see these iron gear wheels, they're already backing up by quite a substantial margin, which again is absolutely fantastic. The oil processing is slowly ticking its way up through. And as soon as that oil processing, like I've, we've got the fluid handling, and this is good. We've got storage tanks right there. I can make a load more pipes and stuff like that. We're going to want a lot of pipes. And we're going to want a load of pipes to ground as well. So what I'm going to do for a minute is I'm going to actually make, manually make a load of those. And I'm going to manually make a load of those as well. Let's use up some of my iron. Um, that's just in preparation for when we've got the oil. And then I could make some more labs and stuff. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to worry about it. This is all stuff that we will worry about later. We don't need to do it at the moment. Engine units, you can only make these in factories. And that is another thing that we want to be considering soon. Not going to worry about it at the moment. That's another one that is It's sort of something that I need to do. But it's not something that I'm going to prioritize because I don't actually need those engine units just yet. They're something that I'm going to need later, but not yet. I, d I don't need to worry about them at the moment. Uh, now, if I am to redesign all of this, if I'm to shift this all around, we kind of got to decide how and where we're going to put it. I've got six furnaces at the moment that are producing steel. I could up that. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll increase it by making more steel furnaces. Um, that would be the logical step on there. I can change this around a little bit. And I could just simply change that one around. I could put some more mining drills on here. And 
have that one moving the other way, so it moves up to about there. And that's going to back everything up, and that's going to start filling up that iron plate a lot more. In fact, I think that is what I'm going to do. That's how we're going to get round. Rather than ripping everything up, which is something I'd like to avoid, we'll do it like this. So I've just got a few more of those to make. I've got 46 pipes to ground now. And then i got all of those as well. So I want to go to... I've only got three. I've got enough there for three. Let's go to you. Let's just lift out all of that lot. There, yeah, like that. I want that. Ah, that's more like it. Right, I'm going to make six of these. Right there. Let's just wait for these to make a minute. Just like you look at this. I got a little bit of stone up there. That one just uncovered with one of our... Um, radars and you can see here the radar is slowly uncovering as it uncovers a fresh zone you get a quick look at it before it then covers up and it becomes like the rest of the map so you get to look at it like it is in this bit so we've got absolutely no enemies on our island here and there's no enemies further out at the moment there look right I zoom in right there I get to have a little look at that bit and there was another bit over here that I get to look at as well that's just a patch of trees up there, we've got 49 million pieces of stone. Now, on our island right here, we've got 2.7 million. It's not a huge amount. I've got 9.7 million ore. i got 6.8 copper, and I've got 8.3 coal. The stone is the important one, 2.7 million. That's enough to keep us going. We've got 27 million coal there. 204 million iron right there. Another 29 copper. 21 copper, 60 million copper. Uh, there's nothing up there at the moment. And then over there, I've got 50 million stone. Uh, down here, I've got 75 million stone, 51 million ore, 4.9 million um, uranium. And there's 4.1 copper there. I've got some small patches of copper. And then there's another 9.1 million coal. We've got some more crude oil down there, but we've got our crude oil there at the moment. So you can see, sort of, it's, it's slowly starting to uncover using the radars, which is absolutely brilliant. But we've got to get out to them. You've got to be able to use landfill to be, um, to extend out and get to the zones. And this is something that we're going to be doing later. But once we get onto these bigger islands, and also this pollution cloud, which is being absorbed by trees at the moment... But the bigger we get, the less the trees will be able to absorb, and the faster we're going to kill the trees. Now, I'm looking around the base. At the moment, I've seen no sign of any of the trees dying off. Right? I've, I've been keeping a bit of an eye on it, but I have yet to see any sign of trees dying. Right? That one... I mean, maybe... Yeah, look. See these here? These are actually starting to die off a little bit. Yeah? Yeah? They're starting to look like they're getting a bit sickly compared to some of these other trees. And they all start to look like that after a while. All, the, all the, the forest and everything, it all starts to look absolutely terrible. It doesn't take long. Once it starts, it then it, it really does start to kick in. Uh, anyway, that, that doesn't matter at the moment. What we want to do right now is we're going to have to just rearrange this a little bit. So we'll lift you up out of the way a minute. That radar there. And I'm going to... You know what? Let's just hold on to him a second. I'm going to go up through here and we'll clear the trees away a little bit. Just there, just so we can clear the edge. Down through there. Like that. Go on. Right. I think that is all that I want to do with the trees. There. There. Right, that's much better. Now I've got a little bit more space. So I can take that radar that we had and I will drop it down over there so it's out of the way. And I'll also put a light next to it because light is good. And I'll put that one into there. And then I've got six thingies that we'll be using. I'm going to bring that one over to there and I'm going to put it onto there. So that's going to join in. Which means I can remove that one and I can remove that one. And I'll also remove that light for a minute. And then we want to get our mining drills. i got six of them that I made. I'm going to put them down. So to start with, with these mining drills, I'm going to go like that. One, 
two, and then I'm going to leave the gap of two like that. I'm going to put that one up to there, and then I'm going to do the same on this side, like this, there, and I'm going to put one there. Right. So it's 30, that's 10, that was 21, that's 39, that's 21, and that's 12. That's absolutely fine. That's, that's, uh, that is a, a good number, I think. Except that I've actually gone and put those in the wrong place. So I want to move those. And I'll drop them down by one space. Just like that. These here. I'm keeping that one down so it will gather up the bits on there. I've got a few more bits over here. We'll worry about that later. That will... When we come much later on and we remove a lot of this, we'll then be able to put down a load more mining drills and just kind of finish mining everything out on there. But for now, we don't need to worry about it. I'll run that up through to there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take those three lamps so that I've got some spares because I want to put lamps on the edge of what we're building here. Just so that we can see at night. Being able to see at night is something that I'm starting to value, actually. I've, I've not really valued being able to see at night anywhere near as much as I perhaps should have done in the past. And this is this is my this is my mistake, I feel. So I put that one there, and then can't put you there, but I can put you up there and get that one running. And I can I'll just drop that one in there like that, right? So now I want an underground belt, and that one's going to go like that, and it's going to come out there. And then I will take an ordinary... You know what? I can actually remove that, and I can put it up there so that it goes a little bit further, so that we can use less of these belts. Let's put that one up to there, and then into there. Okay. Now, the only problem with this... Right, I've got this absolutely great, fantastic idea... The only issue we've got with it is that if that ore goes this way, where am I getting the coal from for feeding in onto these? That's my problem. I need to be able to have coal coming in on here as well. Uh, hmm. Right. Let's have a rethink a minute. I'll just move that one off of there. I know how I'm going to do this. I already know how I'm going to do this. What we'll do is we'll bring that one up. Like that. And I'll bring it over there. This one is going to go... Uh, this way. He says. That one's going to go there. So that's going to feed it in onto one side of the belt. Right? It's not going to feed in onto any other side. It's just going to feed in onto one side. This is, this is a good thing. This is what Frithgar wants. And then Frithgar wants to... Turn that around. Like that. So that is turning around. And then if you go here, you press R on that one, and that changes the direction of it. So you can change the direction feed on that one. And then we can do the same over that end if we want to, but we're not going to yet. Uh, next bit, I want to be able to put the coal... Coming out here, and that's this. What I'm going to do right here. I'm going to I'm going to make a splitter, and I'm going to go there. Nope. Logistics. Make one splitter like that, and take you, and then I'm going to split that one off of there like that. Right. So then I can go and I can put this belt here. That one's going to go like that. And it's going to feed in there onto the coal. And then I've got that one there that I want to bring back round, which is not going to work because I don't have enough room in here. Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.